Hey, uh, my name is Lauren Erdrich. I am a painter and a sculptor sometimes, and I am in my studio in Bushwick. Um, I have not always been able to get here during this time. It is kind of weather dependent. I have a bicycle, and so, you know, it's when it's not been raining and when it's worked out. Um, I'm very grateful for the time that I get to spend here when I am here. Um, you know, right before this pandemic hit, I, I knew that it was coming, um, kind of the panic had risen in New York, and so I had already started bringing some art materials home every night. I started uh, bring paper and colored pencils and watercolor crayons. I figured, well, um, those, are, those are mobile. I can work on those. Um, and even though I'm not... Drawing isn't actually so much of my process usually. Um, it, you know, this, I think at least in the beginning, this experience um, and kind of the world experience because it was so unknown and, and because we really didn't know what was happening from one day to the next, I, it actually opened up some space in my practice to just be able to work. Like, I didn't need to think about what was going to happen next or what how this fit in with the rest of my work I, I just really I mean essentially used the my art practice as as self-care um, I don't think that's weird for me I think that I am always kind of using it as a as a means to translate my um, inner experience of, of the world and of other people kind of onto the physical the physical realm um, which I, which I do see as, as self-care uh, in some way. Um, but I think that, uh, that this, especially in the beginning, this experience really, it really kind of put that as the focus. Um, so it was kind of, you know, it's been very fruitful in some ways. I, I, these drawings have been, I've been pleasantly surprised by the drawings that I've been doing. Um, you know, I have a show up right now at the uh, Delaware Contemporary that is up, but no one can see it. It um, should be extended though, so that is great. Hopefully we will be able to see it at some point. Um, I also been uh, was talking with a Bushwick Gallery about having a show and that has been kind of postponed until we can be together and have an opening. Um, I think I've been very reluctant to, for these online shows and all the online access to, to artwork, uh, I really want people to see the work in person. I'm very much a physical, physical person. I like to see things and touch things. Um, and, uh, but, you know, um, who knows, right? You know, I can't sit around and wait for things to go back to normal because I don't know what that normal will look like. Um, or if it will, if it will reappear, um, and how it will reappear. Um, I think that as artists, we're, we're used to innovation. We're used to working in somewhat inhospitable environments. Um, and I know that many of us do not have access to our, our usual, uh, media, but, um, but I don't doubt that, that we will you know, adapt and find different ways to, to produce. I think we're already doing that. I, at least I already see that happening amongst, um, you know, colleagues and, and friends uh, and artists that I know. Um, you know, I think it's just the way I've been getting through this period, um, especially as it's hit closer to home over, uh, over the past few months, you know, we lost my grandmother to the virus. Um, as I'm, really just focusing on taking it one day at a time. Um, when I do that, I can, uh, I don't feel panicky. I'm, I'm able to, to work and, and, um, and feel like I have my feet on the ground. It's kind of only when I start asking myself these questions of like, what's next and what will the future look like that things get pretty scary. Um, you know, what else? I, 
I think that um, it will be interesting to see what happens from here. I think for my own practice, like now I have all these drawings, um, you know, what will happen? Uh, what will happen to this body of work? Um, is this a body of work? Does it, does it kind of fit into or need to fit into the rest of my work? Um, I can see that it does, you know, it's, it's much more of an inter internal uh, landscape that I'm working with now, um, or internal environment, uh, which is not weird for me. Um, so, you know, I don't think it's actually that much of a change, but, um, but yeah, um, that's it. Thank you.